In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate a measure of effect size for the Man Whitney U statistic. And the effect size measure that I'm going to show here is actually called eta squared. It's based on the z statistic divided by n minus 1. So when you calculate the Man Whitney U statistic in the way that I demonstrated in a previous video, which is through analyze, non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, and two independent samples, you will get this output with the mean ranks in the first table and the test statistics in the second table. And that z value that you need to get is in the third row. z equal negative 1.974. Now if I go back to the formula, I got to square that value and divide it by n minus 1. In this case, n is 417 right here, so that's going to be 416. So I just need to square the z value 1.974 times 1.974. It doesn't matter whether you use positive or negative values. You're just really trying to get the square here. 3.896676. And if I divide that by 416, I get 0 0.009 or 0 0.01 rounded. And that would imply that 1% of the variability in the ranks is accounted for by my independent variable, which is gender. So 1% of the variability in the ranks is accounted for by gender by using this formula, which is z squared divided by n minus 1, and it's actually eta squared. So that's a measure of effect size for Man Whitney U.